What's up, guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to get College Football Revamped on PC. Let's get right into it. So, open your browser and look. I'll have this in the description, but it's gonna be called RPCS3. And if you decide to look it up, it'll be this little like purple three. Open up, open up the website and now we'll. We're on Windows, we're gonna go Windows. Okay, and from here, I just, you're gonna want something that can extract folders, so, this and extract. But, since I already have, I already done all this, I'm gonna go into my extracted RPCS3. And uh, I do recommend getting like a folder with all the stuff you need and just name it something that you'll remember like revamped or NCAA football. Uh, and this does remind you, I can't tell you where to get the NCAA football folder with like the actual game in it because due to like pirating stuff, but just look up NCAA Football 14 download, and you'll probably get some stuff to come up for you. But back to the video, we're just gonna want to just launch this, and you're gonna get the Quick Start Guide, and make sure you click "I have read the Quick Quick Start Guide," and then launch, and you'll be met with this screen. And what we're gonna want to do next after we launch this, we're gonna look up. PS3 update again. This will be in the description. So it's from the official PlayStation website, and um, you're gonna want. It and this is just so you can update the uh, firmware on RPCS3. So update using a computer download ps3 update and it's gonna say something like this ps3 update can that pup cannot be downloaded securely with these three dots and hit keep and so back to this one hit file from here install firmware ps3 update dot done we can go to the NCAA folder so go into dev or find your RPCS3 one this is why I recommend you get a folder where you have everything RPCS3 dev underscore HDD zero open it up and if you see a disk folder it'll be DISC, then you're good to go, but I don't see it. You can just make one. New folder, name it disk. And there we go. And now, let's go into the actual NCA football folder. And it's not going to be this one. It's gonna, you're gonna, like, once you download this folder, the, all of them are the same. You're gonna open this, and you're gonna find another folder, and this is the actual one. So, show more options. You're gonna wanna rename this one. I'll have the folder name down in the description, because it's kind of a complicated name. But, it is BLUS31155. Dash. N C A A. Football. Fourteen. Close bracket. Oops, wrong one. Close bracket. And so yeah, there you go. That's the name of the folder. 
and now that we're here, we're gonna actually go into this disk folder and uh, just drag and drop it into the disk. And so now, oops, go into back into your RPCS3, hit refresh, and there you go. This is now open, and we're just gonna boot this up. Okay, now that you're like finally done with all that like SPU loading and stuff, um, I don't really care what my favorite team is, I'll just pick my favorite team anyway, but um, you can pick your favorite team, but uh, personally, go Buckeyes. Oops. And, uh, so, I forgot to tell you how to, like, I didn't set a controller yet, so, to, if you're on keyboard and mouse, all the buttons that matter right now are your, is gonna be your arrow keys and X. You just need, cause that's all we need to do, we just need to launch it to here, and now we can close but um yeah that's all you need to do um and so now we can make some magic happen so i pre-downloaded this file because it's actually pretty big of a file but you're gonna just look at i'll also have this in the description college for uh Revamped. And yeah, College Football Revamped V21. That's V21 is the newest version of the game. I'll probably make an update one when uh, V22 comes out. But all you're gonna do, since we did it to your PC, you can click PC and physical disc copy. This matters a lot. Physical disc copy. And you can choose whatever you want right here. I personally recommend the new new score bug. It's the actual ESPN one. The old one is kind of like, I'm going to say, it's the NCA 14 score bug, but like kind of like revamped a little bit. And uh, here's where you decide, do you want Xbox? Are you going to play with an Xbox controller? If so, select Xbox controller buttons. But if you want to play with a PlayStation controller, which I am, Use PlayStation controller buttons. And after you're done, as I said, it's pretty big folder. It's six gigabytes. You're just going to click here. It's going to lead you up to here. You're going to wait one second. Download. But since it's so big and I didn't want to waste y'all's time, I pre-downloaded it. And so... This is, it's just kind of, after you install, it's going to be, it'll be in your download section, and it's going to be called CFBR PC Disk Easy Installer V21 PKG. And from here, we want to open our RPCS3. So open your RPCS3, whatever that is, and, um... Here's where something really cool will happen. Drag your CFB, CFBR PC disk easy installer. Drag it onto here. It will say copy. Do you want to install this package? Yes.
Okay. We're done here. And so, now that we're done, it's completely done. It doesn't say anything up here. And if you did all this at percent, it's going to say college football revamped right there. So, let me grab a controller real quick, and I'll show you guys how to actually, like, use, um, how to actually use a controller on OPCS3. Okay, I got everything plugged in. I'm gonna slide it. And so, pads. And if you want to play on a keyboard, you can. I just don't recommend it. It's not that fun. If you're on a PS3 controller, it's DualShock 3. If you're on a PS4 controller, it's DualShock 4. If you're on a PS5 controller, it's DualSense. And Xbox is X input. So, yeah, that's all. Let me select DualSense because that's what I'm using. Okay. Let's open the game. Show you guys. How it is, it's pretty cool. Okay, now that we're finally done with this, you're going to get this little video. I'll just skip through it. Or wait, no, you can't. College football revamps. And, yeah. Shout out to all the people on screen right here. These guys are amazing. Press start, that will be your options button. As you can see... So, I'll make a video on updated rosters, but that's pretty much all, because as you can see, CJ Stroud, 
That was years ago now. I mean, yeah, Oklahoma still has Dylan Gabriel. But I'll show you guys the most Aiden O'Connell still on Purdue. But in my next video, I'll show y'all how to get the most, the latest rosters. Or, I'll give you past season rosters, the newest roster. Or, there's some people, amazing people in the Discord right now working on rosters for next season. Which is amazing. But, that's all. Um, we can close it. You guys can play. I don't really care what you do. Doesn't matter. I hope this helped you. And I'll see y'all in the next one.